Tim Mezik, product support specialist, and we're continuing on with our Chevy small block build. What we're getting ready to do here is degree the cam, um, and what we went ahead and did is we got our crank and our cam already lined up in there, uh, and you can identify how it's lined up simply by the markings on the timing gear and the crankshaft here. Uh, the circles mean the, that the cam is in straight up, and then there's also a triangle triangle over here and a square over here and that'll tell you if you want to uh, retard or advance the cam uh, four degrees. Uh, for this application we're going in straight up on this one. Uh, so what that also did for us too is it also uh, showed us that we pulled number one cylinder up the true top dead center and what we did is we hooked up our dial indicator here along with the piston stop and that allowed us to find top dead true top dead center which will be crucial for us here in a moment when you see we put the degree wheel on. First thing we want to do here is to get the degree wheel on so we're going to slide our balancer on. This one uh, fortunately fits right on there nice and easy. We'll grab our Mr. Gasket Pro degree wheel up here and it comes with the uh, spacers and everything you need there to bolt that on and you'll see it just lines up real easy here. Three bolt holes and you use your slot of bolt holes here and you just line it up on there. Put a couple in there just to hold it in place. And it comes with the correct spacer here so you don't gall it all up and that goes right over over top of your crank bolt. And you can see how it kind of centers it all in there like so. And you slide crank bolt in and you just want to make sure that that little spacer lines up in the bore of the degree wheel. And you just want to get them snug on there. You don't have to wrench them down. Just a little snug. And snug up your crank bolt too. And what you might have to do too, sometimes crank bolt will allow you to, when you tighten it down, will allow you to roll the motor clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh, if that's not the case, what you can do is put couple crank bolts in the back half of the motor while it's on the stand and use a pry bar to roll the motor back and forth. We went ahead and just made a, a pointer here, uh, just basic wire coat hanger and uh, a bolt, a couple washers so you don't hurt the deck of the block. You can go ahead and run that in. So we got top dead center set and what we did was we moved our dial indicator over here to the intake lifter and what we want to do is pull it up to, to 50 thousandths and check all your clearances make sure that your uh, cam card reads the same as your degree wheel and that's basically how you degree a cam so I'll go ahead and roll this over to 50 and we're right there at 50 and then what you do is you want to check your specifications on your cam card that you get from the manufacturer of the cam and you want to make sure that your uh, intake numbers match what the degree wheel does and ours does. So we're all set as far as the green cam goes on the intake side. Now for the exhaust side, essentially what you're going to do is move the whole dial indicator assembly over and do the same exact thing for your exhaust valve. And then once again, check your numbers to the degree, degree wheel versus your cam card and make sure your numbers match up. Okay, so now that we've been set at 50 and we've checked our cam card to the intakes, opening at the correct spot on the degree wheel, uh, what you can also do, or what you also want to do, is check the rest of your angles of your intakes and exhaust valves opening and closing. From there, what you can do is move the dial indicator over to the exhaust lifter and also verify your measurements from there as well, too. And that's basically how you use a pro degree wheel by Mr. Gasket.